Hey guys, Kevin here with Texas Veteran Power Outdoors. So we got a real treat for you guys um, here in the next couple days. It may be today, tomorrow, uh, it'll be one of these days. Uh, my dealer, uh, Lansdowne Moody on East Freeway. Now they have six locations here in uh, the Houston and uh, Texas area. So um, uh, my salesman ordered me another Z1, okay? And we're getting the 48 inch. So, um, it's supposed to be here. Uh, it might be here now. I called up there and the inventory guy is checking it out and he's going to call me back. But what we're going to do is, um, we're going to run the video live, YouTube live, as soon as I pull up. And then from there to the point we leave, the phone's going to be going. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys the live, um, uh, buying experience you know we get there we'll kind of walk you around the dealership a little bit and then uh, we're going to show you the new Kubota stand on mower um, the different options that it has compared to the Bobcat um, from the knowledge that we have and uh, uh, then we're going to see the uh, the Z1 and some of the other mowers they have lightly touch on those but focus mainly on the the 48 inch uh, you'll get to meet my salesman uh, Will William and uh, this is like the sixth mower I bought from this guy. Uh, fantastic salesman, fantastic dealership, service department, everything is, is great. Now these people are, you know, 35, 40 minutes away depending on traffic from me. There's another Lansdowne Moody 15 minutes from me. There's a bunch of other dealerships right here, you know, that are a few miles from me. But I choose to go to him because the service, the relationship, um, just everything really so you guys will get to go through that buying experience you'll get to ask questions so we'll be looking at at the screen um, you'll get to see the paperwork you'll get you'll find out uh, promotions that are Ferris has right now in this month you'll find out promotions Kubota have right now in this month you'll find out the finance options that Kubota credit offers who I, I finance all of my mowers through um, so you'll get to find out all that. You'll get to ask questions about financing, ask questions to Will for whatever, you know, and, and myself. If we miss one of your questions, we apologize, um, but we can probably answer them after the video is already ended and, you know, we're able to see a question popped up. So we are going to be running that live. So um, it, it'll be one day this week. It could be later today. It's just going to happen. Boom, it's just going to show up. So... Um, some of you guys will be able to see it, some of you guys won't, you'll be able to watch it after it's already done and that's totally cool too. So, um, the reason we're going with another Z1 is I love this machine and I want the 48 inches and 36. Uh, we had the IS 700, 52 inch we bought back in November. Uh, I put six hours on it and then sold it, um, last week. And the reason I sold it is because I got it stuck, um, in the grass twice. And uh, the weight distribution between stand-on mowers and zero-turn mowers are, is completely different. So what I've experienced in this moment now, I bought this Ferris. It only had like 20 hours on it, so I got it used. But it has 240 hours on it. So I've, I've been on it a lot. And um, But what I've found out, I've, not, I've never had it stuck, but what I found out is on zero turn mowers, you know, you got where the engine is, the seat, and the deck, and it's a longer frame, and then you got the person sitting on there. So the weight distribution, everything around those tires is different than on a stand on mower. So like, for example, the stand on mower here, you got these big wheels here, okay, and then you got everything else. Everything's real compact, and then you got the operator that stands right here. So you're like on top of those wheels, uh, so all your weight is there, and that really helps for traction and things like that. So, um, you know, I'm 270 pounds, and uh, fortunately, that's just how heavy Awesome is. But um, so I got it stuck twice, and I, I don't, I don't want a mower that it gets stuck that easy. Luckily, it was in a ditch closer to um, the street. I had to unhook the trailer and then hook a rope up from the truck to the mower. I keep all that stuff in the truck for that. The, when that happens um the f60z same thing got it stuck twice and i just that's the little 36 inch zero turn i didn't like that so um now i'm going with the stand on i didn't go with a 52 stand on like on the z2 because um you know the 48 and 52 is not a whole lot of difference that's what, four inches 
and granted the 52 coming from a 36 is quite a bit long larger and the 48 coming for the 36 you know is only 12 inches so I totally get it uh, but I think the 48 will be good I can still get through some of my gates and on the days that I can't in case the 36 breaks down those properties don't have an enormous backyard so I can use the Kubota push motors no problem but anyways guys uh, so we're gonna have that video coming up soon so be sure to keep your eyes out for that and uh, it'll be a pretty neat buying experience I don't know if if anybody has done anything like that all the way from front to back I know some people go up there oh hell we're buying a mower you know blah 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 and then they cut it off or they they talk about they introduce you know the mower that salesman talk and then they that's the end of the video but we're actually going to be um, doing the whole buying experience it's a completely different ballgame but anyways guys I uh, hope uh, uh, you join us on that I'm looking forward to it so I'm Kevin with Texas Veteran Power Outdoors and we'll see you then